Welcome to Live Darts TV. <laughs> we are here in Germany for the SPA event who sponsored Rob Cross and we've got the world champion here himself. Rob, what an unbelievable event we're at today. Yeah, definitely. A um, lot of time, a lot of effort been put into it. I've, I've been out in Germany a little bit longer, so um, we visited their headquarters yesterday. Absolutely amazing. Never seen anything like it. It's on a different planet. 20,000 employees. I would wow. say, just for a corporate event they put on, that is mind-blowing in there. You could get away with that as a proper PDC well, event. Professionally, professionally. It's um, the time, the effort, you see these people what do it, and um, it, it's just incredible. And, and the time sort of spent with it, and I really appreciate it. It's brilliant, and the relationship we have, hopefully it carries on, and it's, it's really good. Taking some time off recently, I say, from the tour to recharge the batteries, time with the family, time well spent? Money couldn't have bought it. <laughs> um, in, in fairness, I feel great. I feel nice and refreshed. Um, I've been practising, so, so that's been a little bit of a difference and all. Um, we're all right. We're not, we're not going to say how good, but <laughs> we're all right. Have you followed the two Euro Tour events even though you've been off, or have you switched off from it all? No, the first weekend, never watched anything. And, and never watched anything, really, second weekend. Um, but I did have a look who won it. So, on the second one. The first one, it was nice to be away. It was nice to spend time with the family. Little girl's birthday, too. So, when I played some bowling without hurting myself, that was quite interesting. And, um, yeah, so, it was well spent, definitely. I did, I've really enjoyed my time with the family. I know I've been out a couple of days now. We go back, we go back practising. We, we see the missus and the kids again and, and the family. So, um Really, nice and refreshed, and then a nice close one next weekend. Yeah. I say, you've taken time off. Have you learnt from the mistakes you made in the beginning half of the year where you tried to play and everything? I think, I think yeah, really. We, we can all burn ourselves, and that's all I was doing. Um, next year, for me, will have to be different. And it, I can't... I, it's not good enough to do everything, really, in a way, because if you don't feel fresh and you don't feel good, then it's a massive problem. And obviously, yeah, you, it's all about performance with the game. Need to be performing, need to be playing well. And yeah, if I have to miss a couple of pro tours early on next year through the Premier League so I can see the family and everything, then so be it. But if it keeps me fresh, I'll win more games anyway. I say, the way you're in every TV event now, the pro tour money doesn't really make a ma massive difference to your ranking because it's peanuts in relation to the TV events you're now in. Oh, definitely, I did, but understand one thing, everything matters. Whether I turn up at a pro tour, yeah, and I play at a pro tour in Wigan for two days, if I don't walk away with a win there, I've wasted that. I might as well have spent that with my kids at home, and, and it's a waste. So we have to have that understanding that everything still matters, and um, no matter how small it is, no matter how big, you should want to win everything, and... That's, that's going to be the attitude. That's a great attitude to have because you see so many players these days pick and choose too much, I think. Well, that's, that's their choice. That's them individually. I'm still a relatively new starter. We're only sort of 20 months in, maybe, 20, 21 months. So um, I'm still fresh. I'm still young too. So, so I have that on my side. But at the same time, yeah, I, I do believe that I need the family time because when I was working, I still see them. Even if I come home late in the evening, I give the kids a kiss goodnight or whatever. And it was small, but it was something. When you have none of that, then, yeah, it maybe sacrifice a couple of pro tours through. If I get Premier League, then sacrifice it then and, and sort of take it easy. But try and be a little bit wiser than what I was this year. I was blind this year. And I have to admit, I was pretty naive to it and all. So I'm quite happy to hold my hands up to that and um, take responsibility for the way it went. But we need to get better. And if you want to be the best, you've got to be the best. And you've got to have a decent routine. And that's what it will be. The draw for the Unibet Grand Prix was done today. I'm going to ask you, have you seen the draw? I did, yeah, I did. I've got, um, I've got Steve beaten, I think. Have, yeah. And he beat me last year. So um, now Steve, Steve's a great guy. Um, fantastic dart player and I've been around for years and in that experience last year what he had and I went in and I found it alien when I played it last year I'd done one mistake I never practiced for it never played double in and double out in my life and maybe I should have so, so this year when we get the Champions League out of the way we spend a week on it and, and just play double in double out try and get myself used to it because you leave odd numbers sort of it, it, last year, I remember, I started on 32. So, Sam missed with me first start. I hit the 32, and then 
Eight twenty, eight fifty two, you're never at fifty two and then you're trying to run a normal leg off that. And that's hard. So so maybe might probably start on double eighteen this year. Have you got a set practice strategy worked out specifically for the Grand Prix then? I've yeah, I've got I've got saying in my head. But like I said, until the Champions League comes round, and then then we try it. You will probably go 18s to 20s. Last year I went 32 to to 20s, and that's a big switch. Maybe if I was going to start on 32, we'd go to 19s. I was about to say that because it's exactly the same. The eye line doesn't change. That's it, and it, it, the adjustment last year. That's where I suffered. My scoring was was decreased. Me getting in was fine. And then obviously, yeah, you have the end bit where you have to hit another double, and you've already felt yeah, like you've hit your double. But it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's all going to be trial and error. But like I said, I will practice for it this year. I'm looking forward to it. It was a great crowd last year. And if we do get over any distance, then I will fancy my chances more. You said the distance there. For a major, the first round is very cutthroat. Only yeah. best of three sets. Would you like to see it extended a little bit? Maybe best of five for first round? Because it doesn't give players a lot of chance to get into a game yeah but then respectively if we was to extend it I, I personally think yeah, we're running to maybe an, another day or a couple of days because you wouldn't have time to play that amount of matches on on the first two days so no I think I think it's perfect and it's still six legs is what we're used to obviously it's double start um, it it's all goes on your own performance I have to take responsibility for it and I need to be good so if I'm not good Steve will beat me Rob, absolute pleasure. I say here in Germany, unbelievable event. We'll let you get back to the practice board and get ready for your game tonight. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, mate.